so in this tutorial we are going to perform the linear search algorithm in C++ so linear search algorithm is a searching algorithm and a search algorithm is basically used to search a particular element in a given list of records so let's take an example of an array with some elements in it in an unsorted manner or you can even take it in a sorted manner that doesn't matter in case of linear search so let's take some of the elements here I'm just choosing the random elements which you can see so you can see that in this given array There are eight elements in this array, which is 12, 7, 5, 4, 11, 6, 21, and 30. So we know that an array has index positions like this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So let's suppose a user wants to search a particular uh, position or you should say if the user wants to search a particular element and he wants to know at what position that element is lying in this given array so we are going to use this linear search algorithm for that so let's see how linear search algorithm actually works so in a linear search algorithm let's suppose the user wants to search an element let's suppose this is element X so let's suppose the user wants to search 30 we know that 30 is at position 7 so what we will have to do is we will have to run a search algorithm in such a manner that it returns the position at which this element is found which is 7 in our case so in a linear search algorithm what we are just going to do is the simple the basic idea of a linear search says that we are going to compare this element that needs to be searched with each and every element of this given array or of any given or of records so we are going to perform this linearly so first we will compare this element x with the first element then we are going to compare it with the second and we will move on and on like this and we will do it until and unless the loop will run from the zero position to the size of the array position and this will just compare the values of x and the value at the index positions of this array so whenever it, it will be able to find it will be able to if the comparison is successful let's suppose at this moment the comparison is successful and we know that for comparison we are going to use the if loop so inside the if loop we are just let's suppose this is an array so we know that we have, for comparison we can use an if loop so if the array or the element at the index position i is equal to equal to which is a comparison statement if it is equal to the item that we want to search for inside the given array then we are just going to return the position at which this element is found and we know that this comparison this if statement will go on from the zero position to the last position of the array so we are going to use a for loop for that case so this for loop will run from the zero position 
from this and it will go up till the end of this of this array position which is the size of the array and every time we are going to just increment the value of i so you can see that this is a linear method and for every algorithm we are mostly concerned with the time complexity and also the space complexity so in the case of linear search algorithm the space complexity will be same as the number of elements inside this array multiplied by the size of the data type or if we are using the integer data type we can just write it like this so size is given in bytes so in case of the linear search algorithm the time complexity is big O of n and you can see that if the there are three cases or more specifically I should say there are three scenarios which we are going to see in case of every algorithm the first scenario is known as the best case scenario the second one is known as the average case scenario and the last one is known as the worst case so we are going to we are going to see or analyze these three cases in case of every algorithm that we will um, perform so in case of the linear search algorithm best case means that the element that you want to search is found at the first position so this is the best case because the time complexity will be just big O of 1 and this is the case of linear search so I should write here linear search so best case means that your element is mostly found at the first or the second position so that's the best case because it has taken a very less time but we know that it it is not necessary that the element is found at the first or the second element so you can see that in the example our element is found at the last position so the best case will not be in this in this scenario because the value of x is 30 and it is found at the last position in case in the average case an average case means that your element is found in between in in the middle of the given list of records so this is known as the average case in the case of uh, in the worst case which we are going to talk about here so the time complexity of the linear search algorithm will be big O of n so this is the worst case scenario of the linear search algorithm and we are going to consider this so let's suppose we will be able to find this element x at the first position then it is going to become the best case else it is going to become the worst case so let's suppose we have an, an array that has elements let's suppose it has one lakh elements inside it so bigger companies have a big a lot of data and let's suppose they have a millions of records and let's suppose we want to create a search algorithm where we want to search an element in this list of records so let's suppose that the item that you want to search is lying at the last position of this array 
so it is going to take a lot of time a lot of time to just do this search algorithm so linear search is definitely not the efficient search algorithm so it is not efficient because if there is a very big list of records it is going to take a lot of time to traverse from one position to the other so it takes linear time so this is the concept and the basic idea behind the linear search and we have also talked about the time complexity so let's now implement this in the C line IDE so first what I'm just going to do is I will create an array and I will initialize it with some values with some random values so let's suppose this is our array and I will also initialize the size of the array as 6 and let's suppose the element that we want to search here is 3 now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to to make a function call here which is the L search function and I'm going to provide the array the size of the array and the element that we want to search so this lean this linear search function is going to return an integer value and that is the position at which this element is found so we will have to store it in some other variable let's suppose it is temp so let's now write the linear search function here it is taking the array as an argument and size and the item that we want to search so we know that first we will have to create a simple for loop that runs from int i equals to 0 and it will go till the end and we will increment the value of i after each iteration so inside this for loop we are going to run a comparison statement so we are going to compare the value at the index position i with the item so if this evaluates to be true we are just going to return the position at which the item is found and if the item is not found we are just going to return minus one so in the main function I will write again a comparison statement where I am going to compare the value of the temp with minus one so if this function linear search is not returning minus one then this means that the linear search is successful so the item is found at position temp plus one because indexing starts from zero in an array that's why I'm writing here temp plus one so if the item is found we are just compare it using this comparison and if the item is not found we are just going to write that the item is not found so this is how our linear search algorithm is, looks like so let's now run this program and see the output so you can see the output here the item is found at position 5 so you can see that 3 is at the position 5 1 2 3 4 5 because we are using temp plus 1 so 3 is the fifth element of our given array so in this case you can see that this will perform a linear search and it will go linearly from uh, the first position till the end of the position and after in each iteration it compares the value of the array at index position i with the item 
And we have also seen the time complexity of this algorithm. So we know that this is not a efficient algorithm if our record is very huge. So the next algorithm, the next search algorithm, which is much more efficient than linear search is the binary search algorithm. And we are going to discuss this algorithm binary search in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching.